It's been a long time since I played this game. This is Alona Plus. Uh, it's a new update of it. It updated like a couple weeks ago. And uh, there's been new stuff added. Um, so I, there might be some things that are different since I've played when I was a child. One thing that's not different is the uh, name rolling. You, you, your name, at least your like alias, is a somewhat randomly generated, but you pick from a list of randomly generated names. So, uh, you can get some really good ones, and then you get some, like, fucking Chunibyo, uh, ridiculous, edgy names. Um, I'm trying to- God Sky! Necromancy Phantasms! Yet Mastermind. I like Yet Mastermind. Fun Snob. Uh, let's see if we can get something better. Snob Body. <laughs> Retard Energy! Yes! <laughs> no phrase has ever described me- <laughs> Better than retard energy. You've been abused since childhood. You embark to work towards world domination. Although you have the brains of a genius, you make terrible misunderstandings. You take pleasure in denying it to others. It. It? This sounds like me. That's. <laughs> yeah, dude. Sure, that sounds accurate. Uh, now we gotta pick our race. As in real life, this is extremely important and will determine everything you do in life. If you have the wrong race, you won't succeed. That's what I've learned. Uh, so we have, for instance, the Urlis, uh, the young kingdom which worships the ancient scientific civilization called the Eth Tere, has gained power in the West. I don't remember a lot of these. I think these are elves. Uh, you're, uh, also adaptable. I think these are humans. Adaptable to things that are well beyond that are beyond their comprehension if it be benefits the kingdom. Urlis fit well in every class. Okay, humans. Okay, got it. Uh, Yolderna, most, one of the most ancient races. Egoism and elitism dominate every thought behind the actions of these perfectionists. They are suitable to ki Oh, wait. Are they elves? Or are they, like, high humans? Then we got fairies. Fairies are cute, mysterious. <laughs> mysterious. <laughs> and fragile. Someone playing Alona. Yes, it's been so long. But I, I loved Alona when I was a kid, so we're gonna see. Uh, yeah. We're gonna see. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna try and get back into Alona. I feel like that's gonna be hard to do, but it'll come back to me, I'm sure. Compared to the human race, I like human. By the way, compared to the human race, none of these races are called human, not one of them. But yet they're referring to the human race. <laughs> they are gifted with superior skills of using magic and evading. In contrast, they lack the physical power. The lack of physical power makes it difficult for them to carry even the smallest of things, making it impossible for them to wear equipment weighing more than one stone. They use, they, they use ancient English me weights of measurement. Uh, fairies have outstanding resistances to all elements. Then we got dwarves. They're fucking dwarves. I mean, I don't really need to... I, I think you understand. Uh, jure. There are people wild and free, scorning the weaker laws of others. They quickly learn the tricks and technologies of others before ever moving onwards. Their pride makes them great performers. I like... These are like fucking Satan worshippers. They are used to be used to being hungry for long periods of time. Oh, but they also fast. Nimble of mind, nimble of hand, and bold of character. No two jure are ever the same. Elia. Oh no, those are the elves. And we still use stone today. Yeah, they're, yeah, fucking stupid dude, is what that means. Elia, known to other people of the world as elves, live quietly in their forests, far from man. Nimble and graceful, their bows are of legend, and the wi their wizards have forgotten more of magic than many will ever know. Still, the young ones from time to time leave and go on adventures, if only to fill their memories for their long lives. Now, um, uh, so, have they changed this game at all? It used to be, like, everyone's racist against the elves, but you can play as an elf and no one cares. Like, no one, no one racially bullies you, and I'm kind of into that, so, like, why? Have they changed that yet? Have they made it to where I can play an elf and be, like, racially discriminated against? Because that's my fantasy. Uh, <laughs> I don't think they've... Unless they've changed that in an update. Playing an elf isn't worth, worth it. You don't even get to be racist... Uh, racisted against... You, you know what I mean. Snail! <laughs> if you haven't seen uh, Alona yet... Um, yes, Snail. Despite the fears that one day the rats will inherit the world, thanks to the other wind, it seems that snails have gotten a head start. Slow and dull, even the mightiest among them fears salt, garlic, and butter. Still, though, for those seeking a true challenge, only the, only Oni can hardly do worse than being a snail. This is translated from uh, from Japanese. If you haven't if you haven't noticed, 
Uh, can you imagine the looks of others when you inch ever so close slowly towards them? Elves aren't racist against any more. Aren't racist against any... Okay. In, I last time I played it was 2.0 and no one acknowledges your race ever. Except for unique snail deaths. Yeah, I'm not gonna play snail. Snail is just a challenge run. This game's already pretty hard. Uh, a lich. Uh, they're just undead, living forever. You get it. You understand. Goblins. Golems. Mutants. A living warning to the perils of gene engineering, chaos, and why pregnant women should not be caught in the other wind. Most mutants live short and pain-filled lives. St who doesn't? Still, one in every thousand not only lives, but thrives due to their changes wrought on them. Healing quickly due to their quickened blood, and at least starting out mostly human-like, mutants are the proof that the third hand is a third hand is always useful. Mm, I'm pretty sure... Let me just check something real quick. I'm pretty sure new there are new race things in uh in plus oh no no no! there are new never mind there are new um class changes there are special special uh class effects okay never mind uh snail becomes almost op because of the boosted ap gain in act two but terrible to start with oh, fuck dude act two <laughs> i don't know if i'm ever going to reach act two the Elder Scrolls games will never be able to compare to Alona, missing classes, classic races like these. Goblin or no balls? Is Goblin any good? If dwarves are the people of the earth, then the goblins are the vermin. <laughs> While clumsy and ugly, there are ever so many goblins about, and more every year. Their scrawny bodies heal quickly, and they love the taste of fish. Their beady little eyes miss little in the dark, and you never want to grapple with them. Who knows what diseases you might get. Has played since childhood, can't snail his way to Act 2. Dude, when I was a kid, I don't think Act 2 was in the game. But I might be wrong. Maybe I just never got to it. I also played this game on permadeath mode sometimes when I was a kid, because I was retarded, so... Um, yeah. Uh, you can rename the race to be something else if you don't want what it is on the list. Yeah, so, uh, what... Let's see. Let's see what the proficiencies are. So, literacy? Oh, yeah, reading. That's, <laughs> and negotiation... Literacy, investing, casting, and magic device. Light armor, casting. Actually, those aren't as important as the stats. Uh, do I want to play a wizard? I kind of. I hear wizards are actually better in Ilona Plus, and you can actually play them now. I kind of maybe want to do some magic. Um, let me just pick one at random real quick, and uh, then go on to what's the name of the race? Um, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. Uh, oh, well, this is new. Um, Male, female, male, female? <laughs> like they're asking you again. Like male, female, male, female, bisexual? <laughs> that's not a, that's not a sex. <laughs> or unknown. <laughs> male. Okay, I'm just, yeah, so let's see what uh, class we want to be and then we'll go back to pick a race that matches the class we want to be. You know what I mean? I main caster, and it's much easier to manage spell charges than ever before. Probably strongest start. Ooh. Chad translator. I, it must be hermaphrodite is what it meant. But, uh, maybe they use the word like futari or something, which means both, and they thought it was both sexuality instead of both sex. I don't know, dude. The warrior. Okay, warrior makes sense. Yep. Thief. Good with swords and bows, though not a believer in a fair fight. Prefers to avoid hits if possible. Can dual wield if not too heavy. Interesting. And starts with pitpocketing. I've never played a thief, I don't think. Wizard would be sick. Oh yeah, they got mottos. The motto of the warrior. If violence isn't working, you're obviously not using enough of it. The thief's motto. What's yours is mine. And what's mine is mine. See that guy over there? His stuff? Mine too. Wizard. Their motto, if it's not on fire now, it will be soon. Farmer, anything worth doing is best done at Farmer. I forgot about, I think I played Farmer a lot. <laughs> the Farmer, well not a, let me turn down this music a tiny bit. While not a steely feud warrior or a well-read mage, or or well-read mage, the translation really. The Farmer is a jack of all trades, good with pole arms from threshing grain and good bargainers from their, with their deals with merchants. They have a working knowledge of just about every trade there is. As such, they never go hungry, as there's always someone, something someone will pay dearly to get done. Predator. This is an untranslated sentence. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why don't you just give it to me in Japanese? I know some Japanese, dude. Why? Don't give me a fucking sentence that just... This is an untranslated sentence. Give me it in Japanese so I can at least try. That's a strange motto. <laughs> uh, predator. Like, child predator. If she's on the clock, yeah, I, you would think, like, no, they must mean, like, alien versus predator, right? But there's not actually any reason to believe that, necessarily, because this is a Japanese game, and, uh, you're, you can, you can have little girls as pets, and then, like, have sex with them to, like, have genetically superior little girls, or something like that. Or no, to pass on your genes, you can, like, fuse with a little... I don't remember. I don't remember exactly. Something, something about this game I remember is, is that, that's possible. Let's see. Tactics. Healing. Stealth. Stealth. Anatomy? <laughs> you know what? Stealth and anatomy, this could actually be child predator. Archer. They're firm believers. This is their motto. Anything dead over there will not be bothering me here. It's called predator because it used to be the default class for AI animals that attack you in the wild. It became the unarmed combat one. Oh. Interesting. War mage. Everything worth doing is worth overdoing. Okay. Uh, the tourist. They have no strengths. They have no weaknesses. They don't really have anything, really. They don't have anything, really. Oh, they can fish. I'll give you that. But if you want a real challenge to build something from the ground up, this is the way to go. After all, you have to teach them everything. Only for those who have a good amount of time to spare. You can even write your own motto if you want. <laughs> no thanks. The pianist. Where the farmer has all the practical skills, the pianist has all the impractical ones. Still, ah, dude, mood. <laughs> Still, they can read a book, play a tune, make jewelry, and since they're expected to haul a piano around, they're really good with weightlifting. Their motto, the whole world is my stage, and they believe it too. Dude, fucking Chad. Whoa, there's a fucking spider on my leg, I think. I just... Where'd it go? I don't like that. There's a lot of fucking spiders around right now. I think because it's really humid out, they're all trying to escape into my house. So a lot of I don't like this fuck. That definitely felt like a spider, like on my ankle. It didn't bite me. I think it ran away. You fucking stay back, spider. I've made a deal. I won't kill them if they're not in my house. If they're in my house, I there's no there's no. They're dead. Scorpion on the leg. I don't live in the desert anymore. No more scorpions. Uh, gunner. This is an untranslated sentence. Well, luckily, I think I know what a gunner is. Uh, priest! The faithful. The devout. They bring the words of God to the world. One battered heretic at a time. Um, even though I really like, uh, um, the idea of playing as a priest, I'm pretty sure they're mostly just good at healing. Uh, and then Claymore. Half-human, with silver eyes, an inhumane evasive cape. This is literally just an anime reference. Um, I know they added special skills for, uh... The classes in Alona Plus, so I'm just looking at what those are. Warrior. Chance to deal an additional melee attack. 5%. Okay, alright. Thief. Surprise attack. 100% critical rate against units that are not in battle mode. Ooh, that's actually fucking sick. So stealth kills. Now, stealth in this game is, if I remember correctly, kind of stupid. Unless they changed it, but kind of just random. Um, but that's an occasional, like, free kill. So, you can change the special kill la later on, too, in case you're worried. Oh, interesting. Wizard. Reduces MP consumption. 10% lower. Okay, alright. Farmer. Chance to evoke decapitation. Increases the original 1 8th to 1 7th triggered chance. Still needs weapons with decapitation for it. Okay. Predator. 10% more critical hit. Alright. Archer. 10% hit rate for all physical attacks. Even not ranged ones? That seems really good. Okay. War Mage. Increased success rate for spell casting. 5%, about 5% more. That's really good since getting a spell wrong will like summon demons and shit. <laughs> so... <laughs> So that's pretty good. That's actually kind of makes War Mage a better mage than a wizard, honestly. I kind of really like that. That's that, I'm tempted for War Mage. Uh, tourist, higher loss of gold from thieves and thief events. That's terrible. <laughs> that's, that's, that's really bad. <laughs> uh, pianist, occasionally nullifies sound damage, 25% chance. Okay, alright. Gunner, chance of an additional ranged attack. 
Priest, increased healing from recovery spells, and Claymore, occasionally invoke a piercing attack. Even if they don't already have a chance, 5%. Hmm. Stealth is dumb and broken. I tried actually using it. Okay. Alright. Um. Hmm. I mean, honestly, War Mage sounds really good. I want to try Magic. I think the flat plus 5 increases... It increases you, your cast chance cap, too. That sounds great! I think I'm gonna do War Mage, then. Uh, so what race do we want to do with War Mage? Um, fairy? <laughs> Elves? Lich? How, how are liches? With a, when a powerful magus grows near death, their desire to live on makes them attempt lichdom. Many the, Of the many who even who try every century, barely a handful succeed. Most fail and die, but some few partially make it, though the process robs them of, their, of much of their memories and skills. Their young age is their new life beginning anew, but they are patient. After all, they have all the time in the world now. Oh, we get gene engineering <laughs> proficiency! <laughs> that sounds sick! Gobudin, you want me to be a goblin war mage? Are goblins good at magic? Normal at magic. Learning not bad. They're not really that good at anything. What about liches? They're the best at magic. Hmm. War mage? Gene forges back, baby. <laughs> War mage is best when dual wielding or shield wielding, as it decreases your magic from, uh, casting chance. And then the class bumps it back up. Oh, I see what you're saying. I think I might. I kind of like lich. I want to do some gene engineering. Oh, mutants also have gene engineering. Oh, mutant would be interesting, which is normal magic. If we want to really go hard in the magic, we should pick something like uh, the whatever the fuck this ancient Yuldurna race is, or the elves, or a lich. Um, but if we want something more all around, we could try mutant. I kind of like mutant. Epigenetic lich. Fairies are also good at magic. Fairies are good at magic. But, like, our, fairies are, like, really, really weak, right? Like, you die in one hit to, like, fucking everything. That's kind of, ooh. Ooh, I do like glass cannons, though. Ah, shit. Somebody stop me. I'm about to play fairy. Fairies are the worst race, in my opinion. <laughs> they have super high evasion. Hmm. They're actually pretty cool. They are fundamentally glass cannons. Is there, is there charisma good? It is! Oh! Just blast people with magic. Fairies are hard, while well, having a bunch of little girl uh, uh, companions, is what I was going to say. One stone. Oh yeah, one stone equipment. You know, I'd rather play mutant. Mutant has downsides, but at least they can get cool mutations, right? Are mutants good? Or do I just feel like they were good when I was a kid because I thought they were, I thought it was cool. I don't think they're actually good, right? So, Yeoman, MGS3 later or when? Probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. I gotta go get it from my, uh... Um, I'm trying to look up Alona plus races. Alona plus races. Fairy starts okay, but the weight limitations make it impossible to gear past Act 1. Mmm... That makes sense. How good is Mutant? Uh... Mutants are a challenging race. Players who'd rather choose a more balanced warrior should choose... Oh, oh I see. Um, but do they get cool... You know what? Let's play Lich, I think. It's only great if you save scum. Nah. Nah, let's... Uh, or Goblin. What do they say about Goblin? I just want that one stent sentence that says, Goblins are a specialized race background. If they want a tougher craftsman, they should do... Dwar oh, so they're more for craftsmen. They're not really what I'd want to do for, like, a mage. What does it say for Lich? Lich are a specialized background. If, they, if you want a more balanced spellcaster, do an Oldera or an Aaliyah. If you want a more specialized glass cannon spellcaster, do Fairy. Liches start with the best mana score and the best magic and willpower grows. Plus, they start with trained meditation and casting. Of the playable races, they can be considered the most focused on spellcasting and one of the most viable for a pure caster build. The downside is they start with low life and terrible gross in strength and charisma, worsening two of the most troubling aspects of the early game, weightlifting and ally gathering. Liches will have to make the best of what allies they can get and increase their power as much as possible, which they may which may take longer given the limitations of spellcasting. Hmm. They're a more balanced counterpart to the fairy. They're both unsuited for melee combat and favor magic, but the Lich doesn't suffer from the fairy's cripplingly low life score or armor weight limit. I see. 
I see. Do Lich. Chad Undead. No friend simulator. Yeah, let's do... Yeah, let's do Lich. We'll have a couple friends. We won't have no friends. We'll have a small inner circle of uh, disciples. Lich. Change the name? No. Gender? <laughs> Male. I could do unknown as if my dick has rotted away after after the long lichdom process. Uh, and then let's do war mage, even though... So wait. If I do wizard, my magic is actually better. But if I do war mage, I get that 5% extra. Which is better? I feel like I kind of want to do war mage, even though... What else does war mage give me? Strength, constitution, uh, literacy, tactics, magic capacity, two-hand, heavy, medium, casting, evasion. If I do wizard, more magic. Does this give me any um, charisma? No. Alchemy, jeweler, mem should I just do pure fucking magic and go... Mm, tame young girls to alter their genes. That sounds good. I like that. Yeah. Whoever wrote these race descriptions are biased. Straight up called goblins ugly beings. I didn't say that was a bad thing. I just said they're ugly. Maybe you like ugly. Sorry, I took a drink and I didn't warn you for the silence first. Uh, you know what? Shit. Okay, the guy who the guy one of the guys in chats who knows this game. If I want to play a pure spellcaster, because I'm considering it now. If I want to play pure magic, is it better to play a wizard because of the extra magic attribute bonus, or is it better to play a war mage for that 5% better casting chance? My casting chance is probably going to be pretty fucking good as a lich, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, hmm, young girl gene modifications? Elona returned to Shirinagasu Island? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein Island here. Um, I think... It doesn't matter which you start. You'll switch to War Mage anyway later. All right, let's do War Mage. I like that idea. We change the name. No. Um. Skills to start with. Uh. So there's some we start with already. I know Luck is quite good, right? If I remember correctly. Um. Where's Luck on here? I feel like I'm missing some. Spell. Swimming. Investing. Negotiation. Oh no! Wait. This is skills. I I'm thinking of, uh, special... I'm, sp I'm thinking of the other thing. This is not what I'm... This is the different thing. Uh... What do I want to increase? Gene engineering? <laughs> Alchemy, maybe? I think the, the hash mark there means that I already have at least one level in it. Um... Mm, full caster build needs wizard. Warcaster is nice because it gives you melee capacity when you have no magic or low on memorized spell. Need wizard? Okay, I do want to play full. That makes sense. I don't know if you're right. I'm now getting people who both know about the game disagreeing with each other in the chat, which is already that I can see where this is going. I need to stop asking for advice as where this is going. I'm gonna play wizard. Will you change the name? No. Uh, let's. So now I have alchemy. Good. Um, anatomy gives a f better chance of finding dead bodies. You know, after, ever since I went to medical school, I've just been stumbling upon dead bodies everywhere. Uh, realistic, yeah, that makes sense to me. Um, let's... Yeah, light armor, that sounds good. Stealth, maybe? Detection? Magic capacity? Riding. Oh, riding would be good to make up for the Lich being, like, slow. Isn't the Lich kind of slow? Magic control, negotiation. Investing, traveling. Oh, fuck, dude, I'm getting traveling. Are you crazy? Traveling is literally just get free EXP for walking around. I'm getting traveling. 25 magic! That's amazing, isn't it? I mean, it's been a long time since I've played this game. But isn't, uh... Isn't, isn't that guy the guy who lied to you about rants? That's true. Only 25? Can I go higher? Ah, you, you just fucked me, didn't you? You just fucked me, didn't you? Shit! You just fucked me! I knew 25 was good! Ah, fuck you, dude! <laughs> Shit. 25's like maxed. Give me 25 again! I uh, I should have known. Why did I listen to you? There it is. There it is. Lock that. Lock 25. Um, so my other important stats. Uh, 
can someone explain stats to me? That's a rhetorical question. I'm just looking up on I'm looking up on the fucking 4chan guide what the stats do. Uh, 0006. Um, so uh, strength is HP and carrying weight. Okay. And melee damage. All right. Constitution is HP, carrying weight, and stamina. Got it. Dexterity is chance to evade, chance to hit, reduce physical damage. Okay. Charisma, how much people like you and shit. You get two pets and then one pet for every five charisma past ten. Every five past ten. So if I could possibly get ten charisma, I've got three. Is there? Is that even possible? If I get fifteen or... No! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm getting, no, there's no way. <laughs> okay, two pets it is. Um, uh, let's see, speed, okay. Perception is evasion chance, range damage, and chance of critting. Learning determines magic points, skill points per level, and extra EXP from any activity. Okay, that's really good. Learning's really good. Will is HP, MP, and stamina. That's really good. And affects buffs and heals, and then magic. Okay, so mostly I want learning and willpower really high. 19 seems quite high, but I'm going to roll again and then regret it. Okay, I saw 21. 21 seems like the highest I can get. 21, let's lock that in. Now we get... Now we, get, we use both our locks. It looks like learning I can get up to 13. That looks good! That looks pretty decent! Good perception, okay constitution, everything else is fucking garbage. Four is huge. <laughs> yeah, I got a fucking massive four strength. Alright, lucky. This is what I'm talking about, dude. Alright. So, these are the different feats and traits we can get. Uh, I think they've added new ones, actually. Finally, you can believe only your power. Zinba. The fuck is Zinba? Zinba. Um. Z <laughs> uh, let me just look up Alona Plus uh, traits or no? I mean feats. Different feats. Feet pick. I saw that one coming. I saw this comment coming. Uh, Zinba lowers chance to hit penalty when riding. The ingrain the in-game translation description is wrong. <laughs> Good, cool, good. Uh, there are new ones, but some are actually hot garbage. Exorcist is nice if you don't want to get cursed in your sleep. Hmm. You can summon magical plants from the piece of the note. Knowledge of magical plants. What? At level at level third, grants the special action Milt Mistletane, which damages targets MP and debuffs their strength. And you can also get violent gardening and sh Okay, no, that's fine. Um, magic Eye. Uh, Co Coco. Finally, you believe only your power. Again. Um, isolation. Increases speed by 20% when there are no friendly NPCs. That sounds amazing, but also not. I also really want friendly NPCs. Hmm. Hmm. What else we got? Uh... Gentle Face, Exorcist, Natural Leader. Does Natural Leader give me... It just strengthens them. It doesn't give me extra people. No, it doesn't give me extra people. That sucks. Quartermaster reduces tax payment. That's nice, dude. Short Distance Runner, Poison Nail, Hypnotism, Sexy Dance. What does it do? You learn Sexy Dance. <laughs> Did you even need to ask? It grants Fascination Dance Wide Skill. What does that do? Four turns will pass, draining non-ally stamina each turn. After that, Charisma is rolled... It's a Charisma... It's a Charisma attack. No, not gonna happen. Jiu-Jitsu. Poison Tolerance. Believer. Empathy. Conquer Darkness. Fire Breath. Dimensional... Mo oh, Short Teleport? That's actually... Magical Gene Gain MP by using Gene Manipulation. Strings Assassin. What, like Toho? Um, let's see. I'm looking at the descriptions of them right now. You can't see this. Hypnotism gives touch of sleep. Okay. Uh, believer increases faith. What does faith do? It's a will-based skill that allows you to gain favor with your god. Okay, well, whatever. I think I'm probably gonna get luck. 
Um, fire breath. You breathe fire. Dimensional move is a, is a dimensional move. It makes you uh, do teleport. Magical genes increases mana. Evade increases evasion. Strings assassin gives special action blade strings. If used on adjacent enemy, deals damage based on tactics and strength. Question mark. <laughs> Question mark. Uh, vampiric ability, special action. I think luck. I think I really want luck. Toho, you mean Tenchu? No, haven't you heard that song? Some, uh, Toho strings. What? What is it? Fuck, dude. I don't remember what it is. No, it's gonna drive me crazy. That, that, that. No, I can't find it. No, never, not, no. I'm not gonna find it. I'm not gonna bother. Never mind. For your super low constitution, you might want Apprentice Ascetic. Get more HP so you don't die so easily. Uh, luck build though sounds fun. I do like high luck. Let's get um, let's get lucky, and then let's get incredibly lucky, and then let's get Goddess of Luck. Yeah, dude. Um. Right now, I'm a white-haired anime-looking character, like anime protagonist. I kind of like, or honestly, an anime sidekick, or like half, half ally, half villain character. Luck Chad, yeah. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to make me look really that good. Oh, I was wrong. Okay, all right, looking real fucking good now. Details. Oh. I can become a demon. Wait, I'm a lich. Can I get myself, like, skeleton skin? No? Not really. No. Uh, I like the purple, dude. It's not gonna really matter much once we have armor on. In fact, actually, if I'm not stupid, what I should do is this. Which is underwear. Yeah. I like those eyes. I can give myself a monkey tail. Or a beard, or big eyebrows, <laughs> or pool floaties. <laughs> yeah, that's useful shit. Cat tail, some sort of hat, bow, more bows, uh, more bows. I don't know what that is. Is it a bow tie? A, a bra or so? Cat ears, sunglasses. Oh! Punished Lich. Oh, I like the eye patch, dude. Oh, the I look so fucking cool with the eye patch. I might do that, dude. I might do that. Which one is that? 22? I gotta remember that. A bunch of stupid hats. Oh, look at that cape! Yo! 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 <laughs> that is a look. That's some re solid retard energy. <laughs> I love it. Now, the problem is, is that cape going to show up over my armor? I really don't want things covering up my armor. What is this fucking French maid outfit? Helmet. Bandana. Ooh, the sword on the back. Halo. Yeah, I think these show up over my armor. You're in your undies under that cape. Does that make you a flasher? No. What is this? What the fuck is this? I don't know what that is. Like a mace on my back? Oh yeah, these are weapons on my back. More weird clothes. Oh, that's it. I think the cape looks really fucking cool, but I think it'll go over my armor. So I'm gonna stick with just the eye patch. I wanna be able to see the cool armor we put on. That's the best part of any RPG. Okay, good. He looks good. Uh, he doesn't look like that. Um. Uh. Uh, these, oh, that's it? I got the same guy in reverse. I can add my own, can't I? Import your own. How hard is it? That Will it take two seconds or like a million? Apparently you can change them later. Okay, I'll just do that guy then. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Done. Import a picture of Dalton. All right. Uh, this is important, and you're all gonna try and bully me into playing a really hard difficulty, but, um... 
We have essential mode. That's normal. Basically, it means when you die, you lose some items, you lose some money, you can get punished. I think you can lose stats later on, but uh, you still you come back to life. Then loss. Loss is another hard mode. If you die even once, you will not be able to revive. You will not read again using the save data. If you exit without using the escape key, you'll receive a penalty of load at load time. Uh, overdose is easy mode. No. Neutral is no reload mode. If you exit without saving an escape key, then you will receive a penalty at load time. Oh, well, I didn't even know you could save scum in this game. Or, I mean, I guess somebody mentioned it earlier, but I haven't, uh... Yeah, I've never did that. Abnormal is hard mode. You will not be able to load and save free. In addition, you receive various restrictions. Scores multiplied by 20 in the clear. Purge. What? You can't make jeans. No. Uh, what is abnormal mode? Um, Alona plus abnormal. I need to see what this is. Um, abnormal. You incur a penalty... What is it? You incur a penalty upon quitting the game without saving. Okay. You are forced to get up after death. I can't... You can never die? What does that mean? You are limited to the number of items you can hold. Your equipment can degrade upon receiving large damage. Acid can degrade your equipment past negative 4. Equipment degraded past negative 10 will be destroyed regardless of cause. All of your equipment will be dropped regardless of whether the map can be reached again. Oh. Dark. Well, not Dark Souls. I was going to say Dark Souls mode, but no, that's not what that is. This is worse. This is uh, Terraria hardcore mode. Or no, medium core mode. Uh, killing cats or dogs will result in a large karma loss. <laughs> if a NPC or pet's affection drops below negative 20, you will sometimes be attacked. Your clear score is multiplied by 20 and other changes. Um, you're limited to holding 21 items, including your equipment. That sucks! Can we do anything else? Can we just do all of them except that one? The 21 items sucks, but the rest of those are really cool. You know? Hmm. Hmm. Essential is the only way to play. Yeah, well, you're whatever, dude. I don't believe you. What is natural? At first glance, the only difference between natural and essential is that the player is automatically inflicted with a shorter version of the punishment hex received for changing gods. Oh, interesting. There's a less noticeable penalty than the character's life and mana stat will permanently lower by five points every time you incur a no save penalty. Oh yeah, okay, whatever. Um, doesn't your carry weight suck ass anyway? Let's just do essential. Let's do essential. None of these. Someone needs to. If you're listening, Alona devs slash Alona modders, um, please, uh, please. Oh, you speak Japanese, don't you? Don't worry about that. Somebody translate this for them. Uh, Somebody make uh, abnormal mode, but get rid of the item restriction because every other part of it sounds really fucking cool. But no, I'm gonna play standard. Retard energy. Uh, I'm 13. I'm th I'm thir I'm 13. Okay. <laughs> all right, yeah. Potential, perception, learning, willpower, magic, all superb. Yo, my charisma is eight. If for some reason it's being plus by five, I must have some item that's increasing my charisma by a lot. That's a fucking sick thing to start with. Uh, I'm not going to re-roll. I'm going to stick with that. That all looks good. Don't press enter because that re-rolls. Press escape, even though that's fucking stupid. My name? Well, my name is Retard Energy, but I just kind of want to be Retard Energy. Um, it's probably an engagement ring. Uh, you've been abused since childhood. That is my profile, yes. Yep. Uh, Shoto Lich. Sir. As in Sir Retard Energy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Now we're gonna do what no one has ever done playing this game. We're gonna read the story. Ages ago, in the times of when the scars of Rem Ido still marred the land of Irva. See, these are all names that mean nothing to me, even though I played this game so much. When I was a kid. The eleventh era of Sierra Terre began. In those days, the land of Irva was still plagued by destruction and war, and though prophesied as the beginnings of peace, Sierra Terre brought chaos as well as hope. It rained for over a month, when the torrents finally subsided the forests surrounding the region of Karun, slowly transformed into an inhospitable blight. Strange fogs oozed forth from the forest, and the creatures grew violent and mad. 
The Elian forest grew with frightening speed, and though it originated in Vindale, it rapidly began to consume the whole of Karun. As the forest devoured the land, it drove countless refugees into the western reaches of the continent. But then, not long ago, fucking refugees did. No, stop, story. <laughs> Your character's five foot three, manlit retard energy. He's thirteen. He's still growing. He's a growing boy. <laughs> si a growing fucking ancient man, or maybe he became a lich at the age of thirteen. Simor, prince of the Western Empire of Xanon, issued <laughs> these names. <laughs> issued a proclamation blaming the destruction of the world and the end of the Remido on the forest. <laughs> <laughs> what a proclamation! Well, the king said the forest did it. <laughs> He's officially decreed it. His orders demanded the annihilation of the Elias and, subsequently, the obliteration of the Vindale Forest. In short order, the violence grew. Suspicion and mistrust infected the hearts of the people. Many of the Elias, fearing persecution, fled deep into the Vindale. Now the conflict... Uh, they're burning down our forest. We're going to go just deep inside of it and hope for the best. Now the conflict grows worse with each passing day, and the final confrontation becomes more and more inevitable. The night has almost passed. You have stowed away aboard a, a, you have stowed away aboard the Queen Sedona, one of the last ships to leave for North Tyrus. It is her maiden voyage, and she's bound for Fort Port Capel. Oh, that's interesting. That's not where we go at all, but I know where that is in the game. Your guy was like 40 and became a lich, turning him into a 13-year-old Shota boy. You don't know that. You have no idea. You have no idea what my character is like. It didn't say he was 40. I know that most liches are really fucking old, and then then that happens, but you don't know that. You have no idea. He could have been 13 and turned him into a 13-year-old. Imagine being 13 and deciding I need more time and going full lich. Maybe he had cancer. Think about that. Suddenly, you were awakened by the sound of sky-shattering thunder. Heavy winds pitch the seas into disarray and the ship wails in agony as increasingly violent waves slam into her bow. A gust of fierce, dry wind buffets the ship. A faint blue light creeps across the night skies and wisp-like tendrils of shimmering air begin to sweep over the oceans. An old sailor faint mutters a faint curse under his breath. The other wind is upon us, descends upon us. I don't fucking care. We Our ship crashed. Actually, we were only one slide away. Welcome to my house, by the way. Welcome to my cave home. You. You're awake already. Remarkable. I was beginning to worry that nursing a lowly adventurer would bring our urgent travel to a halt. What a fucking asshole. You were badly wounded, passing out on the bank of a river. It was fortunate that we found you before the dark mantle of night enveloped this whole valley. Almost as if Ehekatl, the goddess of luck herself, had eyes upon you. <laughs> yeah, it is almost like that. It's, it's almost like that's my, old, my only skills. Stop your curious eyes. Yes, we are sons of Vindale, whom they call the Irreverent Forest. Though we... <laughs> that sounds like one of those fucking random names at the beginning. Irre the Irreverent Forest. Though we, Elias, noble but blameless heretics, aren't keen- They're heretics as well? Aren't keen to spend idle time responding to every senseless question about our race, you should be more thankful for your fate. If it weren't the lady- If it weren't the lady Larnier who cured your mortal wound, you wouldn't be hearing my tirade. For the lady is no ordinary Elia, and only she can- You talk too much, Lomius, even the one- Though the one injured before you is still dazed. Yes, it's a bad habit of mine. Well, sir- it looks like you aren't familiar with this land. Before we leave, I can spare a moment to teach you a few lessons. Uh, would I like to play the tutorial? Yeah, what a, yeah it's, it's pretty short, so yeah. A wise choice. I will start from the beginning. Pray tell me, at least you know how to move. Sure, pressing cursor keys will do, but it's better to use a numpad. Uh, and then O for picking stuff up, 5 for passing a turn, and uh, yeah, got it. Many actions, you really only need three keys. It's stupid. Let's try them now. You need food to live. Here's this meat. Okay. There's a corpse of a beggar here. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna eat that. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... Wait. Why is moving not working? Do I have to have numpad off? I have to have numpad off? Why? Yeah, I ate it. Uh, you really ate that thing? Oh, well. You can also use other items by pressing X. I've played for an hour. Did you see that? I've, I've played for an hour already. <laughs> Oh, wait, I have! Oh, fuck. <laughs> you can also use other items by pressing X. For example, if you want to read a book, press X. Hit... Yeah, whatever. I don't need... It. I shouldn't have done this. This is a mistake. Dig at the walls by pressing Z and doing dig. Yeah, okay. Got it. 
Oh, valuable gold bar. Yeah, it's. Uh, I already know the valuable gold bar is actually fake and he planted it here. I'm just going to pretend that I already did it so I can steal his uh, free shit. Um, where are the equipment? Okay. Let me grab all of this. Longbow, arrow, identify, and vanish curse. See, blessed scroll of uh, vanish curse. I'm going to keep that shit. I'm going to sell this beggar's corpse later. Uh, how do I get to my equipment? That's eat. Oh, X. Right. Um, no. Capital E. No. Capital X? No. C. Yes. Where? So I've got a Wakizashi, dude. <laughs> yeah. What does it do? It strengthens your ability to hide and grants your resistance to lightning. Okay. Um, longbow. It's okay. Uh, give me the ammo. Doesn't do anything special. I don't have any other. I do have an engagement ring. It increases your charisma by five. It enhances your body metabolism. It grants you knowledge of anatomy and it increases your resistance to lightning, but it negates the effect of sleep. Like... Like, normal sleeping. Like... <laughs> uh, and then we got this decorative ring. Oh, oops. Gives resistance. This cloak gives evasion. Alright, we got some decent equipment, actually, it seems like. You know the fairy tale where a wicked witch transforms a dashing prince into a monster? You can't be put to sleep. Well, that's sick. Uh, all done. Listen carefully. Yeah, I gotta kill some shit. Oh, that's bad, though! I'm garbage! Spell. I don't have any spells. Oh, no. I'm gonna die to a slime. I leveled up my light armor. I'm gonna die to these slimes. Hey, wait a minute. I'm actually pretty good. Yo, wait a minute. Yo, wait a minute. I'm actually not terrible. I'm surprised. Uh, we equipped our, uh, we equipped our bow wrong, apparently. Yeah, I forgot there's a shoot slot. It can't be taken off. He gave me a cursed bow. The tutorial gave me a cursed bow. And I put it in the wrong slot so I can't even use it. I'm just holding it in my left hand forever. I hate elves. <laughs> I, I fucking despise- He gave me a, a rotten corpse to eat. And then gave me a cursed bow. Thanks to the lockpicks. Uh, yeah, I'll open the shit. They broke. I didn't open it. Cool. Cool. You finished the tutorial. Alright, let's get into the game. It'll give you a scroll of uncurse, I think. Um, oh yeah! Yeah, I'm gonna use it. I don't want that shit equipped. Well, actually, it's pretty good, though. I do want it equipped. I just want it equipped in the right slot. Alright, what a waste. Beginner's guide on the ground here. Uh, where to begin? Landmarks. I know all this shit! Are you fucking kidding me? You think I haven't played Alona before? I've got the fairy to help me. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Reading. In the world map, time passed a lot faster. You can use certain items and can't use certain items and skills. Yeah, whatever. Going to town. Going to Varnus. That's what it's called, right? Yeah, I remember. It's a town! The streets are crowded with people. Don't worry, they won't bite if you don't bother them. If you do bother them, they will bite. Towns offer services such as tra training, trading, gambling, quests, etc. If you're in need of money or equipment, go check the town board. Got it. Reunion with your pet! As you approach the mining town, you notice a familiar call and stop walking. Your old pet who got separated from you during the shipwreck is now running towards you joyfully. Your pet is... A. A dog. B. A cat. C. A bear. Or D. A little girl. A uh, little girl is the best one. I'm picking a little girl. Her name is Sama Bird. Sam... Sama Bird. Um... How do I... Wait. Uh, I want to talk? In, oh, I for interact, right? Yep. Talk. Sam and Bird, the little girl, fixedly looks at you. Wait in town. Let's talk. Did you need something? Designate as precious ally. Don't pick up items. Shut up! I'm going to abandon you. Bye-bye. There are a lot of other options. I don't remember these. Tell feelings. After all, nothing. I love you. You're so cute I could eat you up. I like you very much. I rely on you. I look forward to your future. I do not hate you. You're all, you are useless. I am uncomfortable. I hate you. May I ask for your hand? I do not hate you. She felt it wasn't too bad. Oh. Wait, isn't that... 
Isn't that note symbol what shows up when you can when they're drunk and you can have sex with them? Uh, appearance. Oh, interesting. You can actually change what she looks like, except you can't. Except nothing changes. Except nothing changes. Oh! I think I'll keep her. Uh, change shape? It's a bunch of user graphics, but I don't have any of those. Interesting. Yeah, I don't have those, so never mind. Ah! Stop! Go back to original! <laughs> Teach words. Fuck. <laughs> I'm... I'm getting... I'm, I'm, uh, degenerating her. I'm being a bad influence. Tag organization. Item mark set change tone? Tone? Name info. She's 18. Oh, she's fine. She, for one, she's of age. And for two, she's older than me. Uh, she's a Roran. I don't know what that is. She's a warrior. She's got better charisma than me. She's just, yeah, she's kind of just better than me. Um, okay, cool. That's good. Uh... So here's the magic shop. I'm trying to think what all is around here. Wait, book. Quest advice. Uh, I know quests. Uh, what do we want to get started with? Uh, first, I need to get reacquainted. So these are the beds you can sleep in when you're early in the game. You don't have a good bed. You can steal this bread right off the ground. You revive the little girl over here. And there's also a piano you can use and get killed for being shitty at the piano. Um, hmm. Hmm. What is this fucking gnome? Gewert of Tenderly Companion Mail. Okay, it's another real player. I guess we could try doing the slime. I need spells! That's what I need. I need spells. I need spells. I've got money, right? I've got $3,000. Exchange for my place. Is the spell... Is she fucking asleep? She's fucking asleep. Uh... How do I wake them up without, like... Change Taddy? What the fuck does that mean? I don't know what the fuck that means. Fuck! <laughs> My little girl is just screaming. Fuck! Um, B, but they hate you. Oh yeah, that's how you bash, right? I might just wait on that one. Um... I wonder if the, the general goods store guy might sell something, right? Uh, no. No. What does he sell? Silk Wing of Night. A blessed deed of magic locomotive. You can buy trains now! Land battleship? What? I knew you could buy houses and shit. I didn't know you could buy trains and battleships. Did he just say, aren't you the sparkling queer? Did he say that? I'm not. <laughs> That's not me. Why would he say such a thing? Uh, we could try doing a quest, but um, we'd probably die. You know, uh, yeah, we don't have... Um, we don't have any magic, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the puppy cave. Oh, wait, we got ambushed. Oh, no. This is where I die. The little girl, help. The little girl, don't die. Little girl, I don't know what the fuck you just did. Thanks. Hand axe. Tight rope. I'm pretty sure you can hang yourself with that. If I remember correctly, I remember hanging myself as a child. Um, let me just, uh, yeah. Use tight rope. Really? Hang yourself? No. Uh, let's go to the puppy cave. And just look for spell books. Dungeon guide. Send 10 gold to Spelunker's Monthly Scroll. Cool. It's not really a dungeon guide. Um, let's just shoot a little bit. Let's, yeah. Oh, my shooting is fucking good. What? Adventures Quarterly Spring 18. Okay. 
Hello there, I'm Adelia the Maid. How do you do? Today I bring you advice that will help hopefully prove to be of use in your adventures. There are many furnitures that are indispensable in the home. No home should be without beds, cooking utensils, and storage containers. Some what does this have to do with adventuring? Some furniture, like bookshelves, can be used as a tool, tea. Other, yet others, fridges for example, can be stored containers that can be opened. These will prove useful in keeping your home clutter-free. Before dying, buying a new deed, how about looking over your house and seeing if you can't sort things out? Okay. Uh, now that we're in a dungeon, this is worth just a lot of you might not be familiar with Alona. Uh, Alona is a roguelike. Nothing moves until I move, and it's got some classic fucking dungeon crawling. Uh, also down here, you might want to pay attention to, because this is like what's going on. For instance, something is minced, and the little girl said, look at you, or someone said, look at you. I don't know. I'm kind of scared, actually. Oh, look, a snail. Gold potion, clear potion. If I remember, decorative ring. Boring scroll. I don't remember if it's this game or just roguelikes in general where it's a good idea to throw potions at people. I accidentally just poured the potion on me. Strange, sweet liquid splashes on you. I press T, which I was thinking throw, but is actually uh, use. Um, I'm retarded. Okay, good. A rusty rod. Can rods be bad? I just want to zap. Zap that rod. Oh, wait. Zap that rod on this. Nothing happens. Zap it on the little girl. I leveled up. I now have gauge release. I don't know what that means. What the fuck is this thing? Uh... You law the gangster. <laughs> okay. Could we get some, uh, fucking spells, please? I'm really not living up to my full potential here, although I'm doing surprisingly well in Puppy Cave. Gotta say, I'm already burdened and I'm hungry. Eat the ration. Um... Yeah, I guess we'll just pick up a bunch of equipment and then go back... Who is this? Pimmy the gangster. What makes him a gangster? Am I hostile to you? I am. I'm hostile right away. I don't know why you don't attack me right away. That... Now that is more what I expected. That is more what I expected to happen. Um, yeah, I'm dead. <sighs> yeah, I fucked around a little bit to make sure the game worked. And you can see, uh, <laughs> I died a lot. My name was Tiny Dog. Uh, I don't have my silent. Okay, what did I lose? What did I drop? Am I missing, like, important shit? Um, I lost... No, nothing that important, it looks like. Okay, wait a minute. I lost, uh... Just some bullshit. Because I don't even know what I lost. I don't even see anything that's that... Okay, no, I guess I'm fine. Um, let's... Well, let's fucking go. Uh, what is this? Ambush. I really need some space. She's gotta be awake. She's gotta be fucking awake. I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to do anything. I'm a magician. I need magic. Without magic, I'm not going to survive in this cruel world. Yes! No, wrong one. Yes. What do you have? Spellbook of Ice Bolt? Sound Ball? Let's do Ice Bolt. That sounds good. Or Darkness Arrow is even cheaper. Let's do Darkness Arrow. That sounds good. Now, uh, I'm trying to think. Isn't there something about if you read these spellbooks in town, they can summon, like, bad monsters or something? Wait, I have Magic Arrow? When did I have that? Oh, read that. It falls apart. Do I have the spell? Do I do I have... Not Zap. Not Skills. Is it... What's the fucking button for spells? What's... Uh, uh, what's the button? I just want spell... Spell button. Well, I know I can do this, at least. Uh, spell... Shortcut one. There we go. Um, I have a 280% chance? 200% chance? I have a stock of 149. Okay, let's read that a couple more times. Oh, wait. There's a chance when you go to bed that you can get those spell charges back, so you never want to get rid of them. Oh, I fucking forgot. Okay, well, read this. I success. Okay, minor teleportation. Okay, well, I'm doing good. All right, this sounds good. This this seems uh, let's let's get spells. 
and put short teleport on three. Dark eye, dark eye. Okay, uh, let's just do the easy fucking slime quest real quick. You know? Wait, never mind. The woman who gives you the slime quest is up here, right? Slime quest? Yep, sure thing. I'll kill the slimes in your house. No problem. Easy peasy. I hope it's easy. If it's not easy, I'm gonna be really embarrassed. I'm hungry. Wait a minute. Oh, the slime opened the door. Uh... Magic missile. I failed. What are my chances? Yeah, magic dart still my most okay, magic missile. Okay, all right, nice. This is good. This is really good. That's what I like to see. Fucking one hit kills. Open the door, please. Open. Uh, the little girl just leveled up. Um, or no, she ate a curia. Sama Bird, the little girl, enjoys showing off her body. Sama Bird, the little girl's magic improves. Her She becomes dexterous. She feels more in touch with the world. She becomes studious. Her will hardens. Now, those all make sense, except enjoys showing off her body. Not really sure what stat that is that she increased that makes her more of a slut. Yeah, I just increased my whore stat. A girdle... You see a lot of stupid alcohols here. <laughs> Based anti-drinking game. Based teetolator teetolator how do you I'm stupid, don't worry about it. A lot of accessories, a cupboard, a lot of accessories, light mail, towel. You all grab that towel. Hell yeah. I don't think I need those stupid alcohol though. That's that's charisma. Charisma does that increase your effectiveness when whoring yourself. Mmm, she's corrupted. Put her down. Got it. I made it to level 61 and made it to Act 2 before realizing the slime mission was a thing. Just gotta pay more attention, dude. Ah, fuck. A bone of a puttet? Aren't they slimes? How do they have bones? I mean, I'll take them. I can sell them. Is there something you can use bones for? I know you can turn their corpses into like... Actually, isn't eating their corpses like really good? I'm gonna take this glove. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this cloak. I'm a little burdened, but we're fucking flying through this. This is actually really, really good. Oh! Yes! Overcast? Oh, no. Little girl, help. Little girl, thank you, thank you. Now just wait to get my magic back. Yo! Uh, first of all, a rich madman is scattering his money all over the ground. What luck? That, my friends, is why you get the luck skill. I just got $1,400 for nothing. <laughs> and I got a statue of a slime. Figurine of a slime. Nice. That's also why you get the luck skill, dude. You get better drops. Holy shit, I love this. Magic is so fucking good! Now, okay, I understand that, um, you know, these are like the easiest fucking enemies in the game. Corpse eating from certain monsters can be good. Yeah, yeah, the slimes give you charisma, right? I think I remember that. Nice, nice. My casting is getting better from all this, too. Oh, this is... I'm, I'm feeling like... This is classic when you're in a roguelike and the game becomes so easy that you just hold right. Except instead I hold down my uh, hotkey, but, you know, same idea. Why is my little girl not fucking following me? Does she, has she... Does my little girl not understand doorways? Is she retarded? Come on. Come on. What? What does the Stomophilia do? Your magic improves. You become more dexterous. You're more in touch with the world. Oh, Stomophilia gives you better stats. You've never eaten this much before. It was one single herb. It was a leaf. She has retard energy. Well, I mean, I can't, I can't say anything negative about retard energy. All right, night. We got a corpse. Oh, I'm bloated though. Keep that corpse on hand. Oh, I fuck it doesn't. I hope it doesn't go bad. Shit, it probably will, will go bad. I'm probably gonna have to overeat. Can I get fat? I really don't want to get fat in this game. I've gained a level. Nice. Uh, get me out of here. Wait. 
The arrow hits the red puddit and kills her. The arrow hits the puddit and kills him. Slimes are sexually dimorphic? What's the difference? Is it, just a, is it like a genetic difference or is there a physical difference? Is this slime have a slime dick? What? <laughs> Alona lore goes deep, dude. Ah! My cor- ah! My corpse! Fuck! Man, my good putt corpse. I probably drop some other shit. T Does my shit go back? Can I? That's I'm, that wasn't a random dungeon, so I can pick my shit back up, right? I hope. I think death penalties are minimal until level ten. Yeah. Damn, you really died to slimes. I'm a wizard, dude. I I was too. No, my corpse fell apart. I can get it back, but oh. Samabird shoots the slime. Uh, acid spreads over the ground. Acid puddles are generated. Don't, don't step in that. Don't step in that. Don't s Okay. No! My cloth decorative ring is damaged by acid. I didn't think just stepping across it would be that bad. Oh, my corpse is in acid. Rotten corpse of a rat. Slimes are no joke in this game, at least at low level. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Especially those blue ones. Yo! Slime skin! Slime bones. Okay, little girl, help, help. What did she just fucking do? What was that? What was, I can't scroll up. I don't know what she did. She, what was that tornado move? What? You look admiringly at the little girl. Wait. Salmon bird shoots the slime. The ball hits the slime and shatters him to atoms. Samber, the little girl is showered with large amounts of acid. She screams. I think. Oh, scroll up is that? Is. Ah! Um, she's. Uh, spinning throw. She cuts the head and critical hit. Okay. Neat. Does she have grenades? I don't know what she has. Um. Give or take. She has a halberd. A she does have grenades. What? Yo, yo, that's really fucking. That is a good. You had that key set to Game Boy foot. I did. <laughs> I did have that key set to Game Boy foot. Look at that. Well, how do I get rid of that? How do I get rid of my Pokemon screen? That's the wrong Pokemon screen. How do I get rid of the hotkey? Transition? Mmm. Mmm. We're Game Boy screaming now. <laughs> you want to, dude? It'd be so easy. Watch this. Watch this. Have you ever been interested in playing uh, Alona on the Game Boy? Have you ever been interested in not being able to see Alona because um, it's way too fucking small? Me too, dude. How do I override... Oh, let me just, let me just, just to say that we did. And then drag it down so it looks more like it's on the Game Boy. Gotta put that filter on it. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Wait, welcome to Game Boy, Alona. <laughs> welcome, welcome to Game Boy, Alona. Um, there's also supposed to be a background, like a fire going, but, uh, yeah, let's go back. Oh, that's not, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Finally, Alona on original hardware. And I can just press a button and switch over to it. Hell yeah. <laughs> I can just imagine someone joining the stream right now. Especially someone who's who's like, ooh, Alona. I I fucking yeah, I fucking love Alona. I wanna watch this guy play Alona, and then like, what the fuck? This guy's playing Alona on his Game Boy? Now we're gaming. No! Sama Bird, the little girl, melts down. No! No! You feel sad for a moment. <laughs> and then the moment passes, I guess. Yo, did that slime just disintegrate into slime? Hell yeah. Now let's run away. Okay. Oh, it's following me! Don't worry, I got magic now. I fucked up. Okay, wait, I'm good. I've gained a level. What level am I? 
Uh, six already. Ah! Wow, they all followed me. What is that thing? A bubble. You target the bubble. I want a description of the bubble. What? I'm out of magic? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Close that door. Wait. Close that door. No. Interact with that door. There's no valid target. Okay, I'm gonna go heal my- I'm gonna go get my little girl back. Which is gonna cost me money. But luckily, a uh, Did that woman just say everyone loves Sheena's ass? Wait, yeah. Sheena's over here. Wait, I remember that. Sheena. Yeah! I remember that! The cakes in the bar have been stolen. Yeah, whatever. I'll do that quest maybe someday. I forgot about Sheena's ass. Um, oh wait, this is the girl who revives my... Fuck you, dude. Um... Call back my allies. 240 gold. Thanks. Resurrected her. Good. Is this a, like a fever dream RPG? Yes. Yes. Everyone does love Sheena's ass. That's from the Seth review. Dude, I played this game when I was a kid. You think I don't know fucking Sheena's ass, dude? I think capital C closed doors. Oh, thank you. Good. You're hu you are hungry, huh? I forgot about that. Yeah, um, let's eat traveler's food. What a waste, though. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just gone and ate some breadsticks on the ground. Fucking floor sticks. Ah! I messed up! Okay. Woo! Oh, that was easy. Okay, well, actually, I think we're gonna be good. Skin, eye. There's a spell book in there. Yes! Give it to me! There's seeds in there! Yes! Eat his corpse! Yes! You're too full. Fuck! Shit! I knew I shouldn't eat. Seeds. Seeds! Don't eat that seed! <sighs> she ate the... She ate the seed. Thick spell book. Luxurious spell book. Clear spell book. Seeds are really valuable. Um, so... That was, that's really not good that she ate my fucking... Ah, uh, Malicious Hand steals my money. Stole a hundred dollars. Well, my luck is still in my favor. I got a fourteen hundred dollars for nothing and then lost a hundred. I'll take it. Alright, we did the quest. Easy. Easy. She's asleep. <sighs> Fine, I guess I won't. It's dawn. We'll just leave real quick and then come back. And then come back. And then come back. There it is. Morning. Yeah, fix your problem. You wiped out the slimes? Thanks so much. My stuffed animals were, are delighted too. Here, you might find this useful. A small shielded girdle, $3,000. And two platinum coins. Nice, dude. Nice. Good start. Platinum coins are for training skills, right? Uh, let's identify all my items. Except I think I have a scroll. Let's identify all my... Oh, wait. The scroll only identifies one thing. I just wasted the scroll. If you cancel your identify, it does not give you the scroll. You just lose the scroll. I'm fucking stupid. Okay, cool. This is for training skills. Um... I don't know what the green thing means. Uh, don't worry about it, I guess. List of adventurers. No, that's fine. Um, identify all my stuff. They give you a discount if you do them all at once. All right. Head, I have nothing. Amulet, I have just this garbage. Cloak, I've got a new one made of glass that increases my speed by four. Good, speed is the best stat in this game. Have you picked your god yet? No, I have not, actually. Is this game good or just a nostalgia trip? It's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty fun. And it's actually, you'll see. You'll see, dude. Just keep paying attention. You'll see. Uh, a robe or a breast? No, we'll stay with the robe. Um, you know, I only use magic, so I really can equip whatever I want. In fact, I'm going to equip this long... Oh, no, wait. I Increase speed and dexterity. I'm gonna also increase- I'm gonna have a- I'm gonna have a bow in my other hand just because it gives me bonus stats. Bonus stats I don't even need. Charisma by five. Cool. Negative one. Whatever. Leather gloves that increase throw- yeah, yeah, better than nothing. Blessed- the, 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 the curse- uh, yeah, I guess that blessed girdle. Yo, look at me styling over here. Look at this. Lona isn't really updated. This is a fork. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Platinum coins are the more valuable than gold coins. Getting potential for stats is the only way to continue getting stronger. Okay, so I probably shouldn't waste them. Red. Oh, I'm getting sleepy. All right, what kind of beds do we have? 
A maniac boring bed. Maniac? What, what does maniac do? I know boring means it's not that great. Um, Alona plus maniac bed? <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't sleep in that. Mm, I have no idea. I have no idea what maniac bed does. Um, boring bed and masterpiece boring bed. That's probably better than a normal boring bed, right? Probably have better sleep quality, I think. Any description increase its worth when put in your house. You were surrounded by a flock of sheep. That sheep nightmare. As far as the eye can see, filled with strangely colorful sheep. Here and there, it's noisy echoing the sheep's uh, attacking sheeps. In a moment of attack, a huge Baku uh, uh, appeared from the side. Baku eats the fleeing sheep, disappear after eating. There's nothing around here. I don't understand what that means. Necromancy Addiction has discovered the Dread Bane Tomahawk, Earthquake Evening, in Beginner's Forest. Interesting. Necromancy Addiction. Good, good name. Are these actually real people, or how does that work now? Um, I wake feeling good. My potential increases. Good. I have nothing to do. Well, then get the fuck out of my way. Uh, there is no real effect on beds. Okay, so it's only the quality of the bed, not the little description. So I've got now Oracle. Wait, what does Oracle do? Isn't that a good one? Like adventures are randomly generated. I think so too. But there used to be like an online thing, and I don't think it works anymore. Unfortunately, I think they've. It's basically fucking gone. Um, let's. Uh, I need to go to Durfee. That's pretty far. Uh, messy. Have you seen it calls the citizens messy cloth? I want it. Filthy creatures. I want to give. I want to give my kid tombstone as a birthday present. <laughs> what an intimidating gift! Don't forget salt. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna take some salt right here, right, right now. Let me do this. There's some way to get online features back by changing some shit in your config. Someone told you. Interesting. Yeah, let me take this salt. Wow, that's a lot of salt. Wait, I need more water. Dual wielding lowers your chance to cast spells. Oh. Oh, so it's not worth those extra stats, especially since there's stats I don't need. Okay, good to know. What other quests? Uh, my kid needs walnut bread. Filthy creatures. My dad is affected by a deadly poison. Take him to his doctor in Lumiest, $10,000. Mature animal cheese. You know, I mean, I could probably make it to, uh... I can make it to Lumiest, right? Can I get a map? I think I, it's, no, it's southeast of here, right? It's probably the furthest away city, but that's like easy money, right? Easy money. Wait, I'll read the book. No, that's the wrong book. I have the $10,000. I mean, what happens if I lose? She dies? Six days. Lumias one is easy money. I believe you. Easy money. Okay. Noyel is probably the hardest town to get to. Oh shit, that's the town I was thinking of. I might be going the wrong way. Um. Shit, where's, where's Lumias? Is it south from here? Because Noyel is to the east. That's the Christmas town. Alona map. You're going the right way. I know that, but do I go south now? Um, let's see. Lumias. No, you keep going. Ah, it's the island one! The magic island one! Ah, I remember. I remember. Okay. Alright. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. Wasted time. Six days, dude? This is nothing. You are second grade sodium and so you'll never perform in as I'll say ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. We're, I'm like a top grade sodium mancer. But thanks for the ten dollars, uh, Hal. <laughs> I there is no better sodium mancer in this in on this continent. Oh fuck! Don't die! Don't die, me or the guy I'm protecting, please. Okay. Woo. Hey, 
I got a salary in my house. Nephia have entered fever. Nephia have entered fever. Do you know what that means? What does Nephia have entered fever mean? Nephia have entered fever. Alona. Nephia fever is an event that occurs on specific dates. It occurs randomly on the 15th day. Effects. Music tickets will spawn where gold would sometimes in the dungeon. Okay. Okay. And it's on, on my clock is on fire. All right. We made it. Thank you for fucking $10,000. Oh, wait. There it is. $10,000, as I was saying. And gasoline and a scroll and a spellbook and a platinum coin. Uh, welcome to... Dude, uh, fucking easy. Fucking easy shit. Are you already married, Yeoman? In-game? I like how you had to specify in-game because the other one is a real question that people are going to be asking now. There's gasoline in the game now? I don't remember gasoline, but apparently yes. That is new. What does gasoline do? Can I, like, pour it? Use gasoline. You became oil covered. Ah! Okay. I. Like, okay. Sure, dude. You can throw potions, maybe you can throw gasoline. Well, instead, I poured it all over myself. Um. Let's see. Isn't there a mages guild here? Something like that? I should probably try and join. Although, I don't remember. I don't remember the mages guild, to be honest with you. Oh, she drank the well. She's, uh, but nothing, nothing happened. Nothing bad happened. Wait, can I steal from you? I don't have any lockpicks. Hmm. I could talk about painting for hours. A soft bed. Woo! Oh, I need to eat. Oh shit! I didn't eat the putted corpse. I forgot about it. Fuck. Oh, this is it, right? Wait a second. Somebody died? Someone was assassinated. Huh. Um, uncursed? No. 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 Tell me about the Mages Guild. Hell yeah, dude. The Mages Guild is made up of experienced and confirmed experts in their field of magic. We offer a variety of services such as discounted spellbook prices, reservation of spellbooks, and training-related skills. But joining requires you to pass a difficult test, which most common mages will fail. Um, I want to join. In North Tyrus, there are several ancient books encrypted with a unique rune language. Should you want to join the guild, put them into a delivery chest after you've decrypted them. Okay. You need to gather 30 guild points. Okay, so I'm just looking for books. Alright, well it's a good thing I accepted that now, because now they'll probably spawn in the dungeons. What is this fucking guy? The Suffering Wizard. Talent or no talent. If you're a success, it doesn't really matter now, does it? My sister came here to Lumiest hoping to make it as an artist. She dearly loved the beauty of all things, but she had no artistic ability. I try she tried so hard and she pushed her limits to succeed, but in the end she was rejected and it drained all the life out of her. The people here mocked and insulted her. Nobody understood her. Then one winter day, despondent, she jumped into the lake and drowned herself. I was sure her obsession with painting had wrecked her health. Her devotion and desire for fame alienated her from ordinary people. But not long after my sister died, a prodigal artist came here to Lumiest. With hardly any effort, all the things she wanted came to her. Fame, happiness, fortune. To be privileged, to be poor, it's all just a matter of fate and inescapable coincidence. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? That's right, it's, it's tough for me to explain exactly how I feel. It's just that I guess I no longer understand the meaning of life. That's all. I remember my sister really loved a series of children's books illustrated by a woman named Rachel. I'm sure they're really rare or even impossible to find, but I'd like to read them just once. I feel that perhaps you can understand how I feel. Will the kiss of death bring an end to the cloying, double plus ungood that is my life? My body will keep moving like a machine, but without the oils of love, my heart will not stop squeaking. <clears throat> I like this guy. You're looking for encrypted books to decrypt and then return. Getting the books alone won't do anything for you. 
Well, yeah, I know. What do you fuck? You? What is this advice? Like, I'm like, I didn't read that. Yeah, but getting the books is still a necessary step. That's all I was saying, dude. His sister is in hell now. Uh, yeah, probably, yeah. There's stuff like Voynich Manuscript. Oh, they, yeah, oh yeah, those spawn anyway. I remember seeing those when I was a kid. Okay. At least we'll always have the oils of oil. Who dare litter before me shall shape, space my broom. Soft bed. Yo, this town is full of good beds. That's actually sick. Wait, who's this? Keflip the artist. Plain bed. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of artists all around. Huh. I didn't know. Yeah, it's the town of the artists. Stick bread. Which is good emergency food. Fishing. Uh. Where's the quest? Yeah, let's maybe try and get a quest that brings us back the other way. $10,000! Is that enough to buy anything, like, good? Is this a general store or just fishing? Ah, uh, the fisherman got drunk, which means now I can have sex with him for money. Um, see, interested in a little tail tonight? Yeah, that's how Alona is. Uh, anyone who's drunk, you can have sex with them for money. Um, I just want to buy something, actually. Oh, you only sell fishing bait. Yeah, okay. You can pick up your god on the way back. Oh, true. I should pick what my god is. Uh... See, a farm is only $45,000, and I already got 10000 for doing fucking nothing. Yo! Yeah, you could buy a $45,000 farm. Or, you could buy a $120,000 truck. <laughs> Why is the truck so expensive? Buy farm. I don't have enough. I need to save up. <laughs> Stethoscope. Oh, dude, Pokeball! And a tamer's whip. A dual glove. A Kimuri Dama. What the fuck is that? What is an Anemos? What are these items? A loot. That's cool. The monster balls, I know. That's how you can get new guys. Or you could buy the new 2021 Ford Ranger. Ford Ranger's not even... That's not the best car for this joke. Ford Ranger's like a cheapo car. <laughs> Ford F-150 is what you're thinking of, my man. Entrance leading to Beginner's Cemetery. Uh, you're standing in a random area? Bottom of each random... Okay, let's go into the dungeon! Let's go into this dungeon here. I'll, yeah. I didn't look at the quest, but... Oh, yeah, there's a lot of graves. Yeah. Oh, fuck. It's gonna be all ghosts. Yo, did I just get a fucking ghost playing card? Yeah, I got card of ghost. Spellbook of feather. Um, I gathered a bunch of literal actual garbage. I got some more shit. Raw engagement amulet. Fuck. You, you might wonder, Michael, why is, this, why is it called a raw engagement amulet? What does that mean? It means it's made out of meat. Um, But, watch this, my man. Uh, I'm gonna take that amulet and I'm gonna wear it. Because it... Oh, it gives me five willpower? Oh, shit. I thought it gave me... Okay, well, that's still good. Yeah, I'm, I'm wearing an amulet made out of meat around my neck. <laughs> I'm also not wearing any pants, I now realize. Open this, please. Oh, this place is spooky. I hate that material collecting sound. Oh, fuck! Okay. No problem with the ghosts. Collect more materials. It's all the same enemy. Yeah, just ghosts. Nothing but ghosts and hungry ghosts. Grab that, grab that. Okay, we're getting lots of items. Why is the cemetery so full of gathering spots? Also, I forget what the fuck you actually do with gathering spots. You stumble over a stone and find materials on the ground. I <laughs> Campfire. Wait, can't I use a campfire? Can't I do something with that? You don't know how to cook. <laughs> ah. Don't grind and polish your meat. What? Meaning it's not grinded and polished. Oh, raw meat. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Raw meat engagement amulet for Yeoman GF. When? Yeah, so I, I went on another date with that girl the other day. And when, when I say went on date, uh, you know, she's... I've never met her. What is it? Dark Fragment. Uh, we're, we're dating long distance. I'm not meeting her for another, like, month. Abyss Power 1. Oh, did I just use that on accident? I wanted to examine it. Uh, I 
just gave myself abyss power. Okay, interesting. Uh, but yeah, so I was talking to her the other day, and um, the she we're we like seems to be getting really serious to where we have not met in person. Uh, but every conversation goes is starting to go to like, haha. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be funny? Like if we uh, if we got married, <laughs> that would be. Ooh, that'd be that'd be crazy. <laughs> like we were talking. I'm trying to think what we were talking about last time. It was like, uh, what was it? It was something. Oh, yeah, we were talking about genetics and like what our kids like. Like, I was saying that, um, that, uh, what was it? We were talking about, like, our genetics and how our kids would look like if we had kids, you know? I think I mentioned something like, like, uh, when I had a beard, it was kind of reddish. And I was like, yeah, when I have kids, then it's actually possible they could get red hair, maybe. Like, could I have, I got a red beard. Um, and then she, she said, like, oh, I've got some red family members, so, you know, if, if we had a kid then they might have red hair and it's like which by the way big downside <laughs> but uh yeah it was a bunch it was stuff like that where it's like haha yeah if we if, if we if if we had kids or like i was talking about um in actually my brother might be watching this i'm about to mention my brother uh i mentioned that um i invited my brother to live with me up here why didn't I eat the traveler's food automatically? I invited my brother to m live up with up here with me, and my brother said, like, ah, maybe next year. And I was telling this girl, like, you know, next year doesn't really work, you know, because I'm, I might be married next year. And my house, the house was built with the philosophy of uh, privacy being a bad thing, so none of the rooms have fucking doors on them. And it's like, and then, so then it's like, uh... You know, if I'm married and I'm having kids, like I'm trying to produce children, there are no fucking doors on any of the buildings. So it's like, yeah, that's this is a now or never sort of thing. In a year, you are not going to be able to uh, stay here, probably. And so then it devolved into like, Haha, yeah, if we had sex and had kids, <laughs> that'd be that'd be wild, <laughs> unless install doors. It, well, it'd be kind of impossible in some of these places, but. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna sell some shit. I got a lot of bullshit. Build him a shed. <laughs> I could do that. There's there's a uh, there's an ice fishing shed in the backyard. <laughs> One of those ones that you tow behind your like behind your truck and you set it up on the ice. Uh, I don't need that. Let's see what else I could. Don't install doors. Kids shouldn't have privacy. I mean, I don't know. When I get rich, I'll just have a bigger house. Or not. I like, I'm going back to the ancestral style, you know? Like, didn't all the, all the, all the people in the past lived in houses that were basically one fucking room, you know? A long house. My house, my house is long too, actually. It's long and tall, so it's, it, but like skinny. So my house does look like a long house. Yo, I've got sulfuric acid. That's perfect in case I need to give my, uh, my, um, little girl an abortion. That sounds like a <laughs> funny joke, Michael. No, that's a real that's a real consideration. That is a good item to hang on to in case your in case your little girl gets pregnant with alien babies and you need to give them an abortion. Um, in video games, abortions aren't immoral. I mean, yeah, I guess they are actually probably. Actually, does it affect your karma in this game? I don't think they do. Your children will, will never learn to close doors. Unnecessary. What does Oracle do? Arcane writing. I got to. I don't know. Uh, I can sell these bones and hearts, right? They don't do anything. It's just free money, right? Please don't tell me they do something because I'm selling them all. The figurines and shit I know are important because you can you can fucking start stores. Oh, I can put the little girl on a leash. I'm gonna keep the weapons and towel to put in my in my home. It's still I'm still burdened. Um. Let's look at what I've got here. If there's any I want to wear, and then if not, I'll uh, get rid of some of this. Okay, keep that. I uh, don't want that. Dexterity 5, ability. To, yeah, okay. Anything better here? No. Gloves, the same. Girdle. 
Same. Still nothing on my legs. And I want that. Okay, yeah, sell all that garbage. Killing alien babies is technically not haram. Put her on a leash. I like how I mentioned that I can use sulfuric acid to give my pet little girl an abortion so that she doesn't give birth to aliens. And that's not seen as strange for anybody. But putting her on a leash... <laughs> that's too far! Modern society, my dude. You can't kill babies. Or killing babies is fine, but... Not respecting women's rights? Are you crazy? Yeoman the red-bearded redskin? I'm not actually native. Don't insult my people like that, though. Putting a leash on her is important to prevent her from going off and getting killed. Yeah, it's actually... Yeah, let's do... Let's put a leash on her. Uh, use leash on her. She gasps. Pervert! Yeah, well... Uh, sell that. Dirty water, crim ale, defender slow, sulfuric dye, oracle, dye number two. Oh wait, that's also abortion suit. Escoltating her with a stethoscope. Escolt, escoltating. I don't know that word. Um, scroll of knowledge. Scroll of knowledge. What do these do? I'm just gonna read them and find out, I guess. What does oracle do? No artifacts have been generated yet. Oh, so it finds artifacts. Fucking great. What a waste. All right. Knowledge. You start to think clearly. Does that just make me read better? Okay, read read some scrolls. Read this unknown spell book. Several creatures are summoned from a vortex of magic. Fuck! Yeah, that was bad. Um. Oh, they're not that powerful. Oh, that wasn't bad. Wait, was that a summon magic scroll? I thought I just fucked up. Maybe it is. Oh, yeah, I should probably uh, get my shit identified. I'm stupid. Wait. Yeah, I, I, I should get a stethoscope, actually. but So then I'd actually be able to see her health. Um... But yeah, it seems like it's going very serious with this girl, and uh, that's really good. I'm. It's so... There is such a difference between dating anyone else... And dating a, like, fellow traditional Catholic. Because dating anyone else, there's, like, this, like, pussyfooting... Like, when you're talking to somebody on a date, you're like, does no one here fucking identify my items? I guess somewhere else. I guess wrong, wrong store. Uh, with, like, anyone else, there's, like, this minefield, right? Where it's, like, uh... Like, you mention something, and it's like, ooh, how are they gonna react to this? Um, with her, it's like everything that feels even a little bit like that, she then just like doubles down on it. Where like, I'm having a conversation, I'm, I'm like mentioning like, yeah, I don't know how I feel about vaccines, and then she fucking doubles down. Yeah, I don't, I, I, no, vaccines are bad. It's like, oh, sick. Or like, or like, yeah, you know, uh, are you willing, like, are you s like dead set on living, uh, where you're currently living? Because, you know, I own a home up here. And, uh, you know, like, if we got married. And, like, if you mentioned that to some other girl, it'd be like, oh, if we got married, how presumptuous. Don't you think, don't you know I'm gonna ride the cock carousel for eight years? But instead, she's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course I would move up there with you. Mm, I guess let's just, there, I don't see anyone who can identify in this. So, uh, let's just, let's travel. Port Capel we could go to, $4,000. Let's look at the really high, high paying ones. Palmia for six grand, hell yeah. Two days? Two days? I mean, I think I could do that. Yo, I got, a, I got the rock thrower. I've got to save the rock thrower's life. I don't like doors. Yeah, that's the other one I have to, that I have to like uh, tiptoe around. How do I break it to this woman that I don't have any doors? The little girl just drank something bad. Did she? Oh no, did she get alien pregnancy? I'm gonna have a baby! Okay, alright, no, no you're not. How do I make her drink, uh, fuck. Wait, let's just get to Palmia first. We made it, thank you. Cool, thanks. Um, how do I, do I have to throw? Throw... No, I have to get her to drink it. How do I get her to drink it? Give dot. 
give a bottle of dye. She... Samber is hit by poison. Samber, the little girl's child, melts in her stomach. There it is. I had to do that so that the alien baby wouldn't wouldn't grow up. It's important. Just got an email. I have to make sure it's not a a, 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 a donation. It's not. Oh, an altar. You don't believe in God. <laughs> Wait a second. I need to go choose my God. We're right near. We're right near the God place. It should be right up here somewhere. What happens if she gives birth? Uh, chest burst or aliens? You really don't want them to happen. Embassy, safe fort, is it this? Beginner's forest, is it this? Oh no, it's that. Old shrines, yes, okay. So our choices here, look at all these seeds. No, don't eat the fucking seeds. This is why I've got you on a leash, bitch. A sapphire amulet, ooh, okay. A green ring, all right. Opatos of Earth. Opatos is the god of Earth. Those faithful to Opatos have massive strength and defense. You have to offer them corpses and ore. Okay, okay. Not even a god would be able to resist an invitation to visit heaven on Erva, should there be one. What does that mean? If you ask nicely, I'm sure even the gods would be willing to leave. What does that mean? Not even a... Oh, gods will reveal themselves to the most pious when they pray on the truce ground on the 11th month. Oh, interesting. A god rampaging his true form cannot be stopped, should you truly wish for it, however. Uh, go to where you can train. There's someone who can appraise your items there always. So where you can train. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll do that in Palmia. There should be somewhere. Um, of course, the massive ecumenical shrine in the middle of the woods. Yes. It means you can ask gods to move in with you if your house is cool enough. Oh. Oh. A silver wolf. Yeah, they just say the same shit. Okay, what god should I take? Manny of Machine. Manny is a clockwork god of machinery. Those faithful to Manny receive immense knowledge of machines. Is this a fucking Crusader Kings 2 art, art piece? Uh, corpses, guns, machinery. No, I don't, I don't need guns. Lolwi of Wind. Lolwi is the goddess of wind. Those faithful to Lolwi receive the blessing of wind and can move swiftly. Well, that one's amazing. That one's obviously really good just because speed is really good. Ehikatl of Luck. The goddess of luck. Those faithful are really lucky. Corpses and fish. Charisma, luck, evasion, and magic, and fishing, and lockpick. Well, that's good. That's good. Uh, healing, nah. Yakatect, wealth, is he new? I don't remember. Increases chances to get loot. That sounds really quite good. Harvest, Kumino Kum Kumiromi of Harvest. Is that the trap one? This used to be the best one because of how, uh, because of how seeds worked, but I think they changed it. God of the Elements. Oh, I should probably get that one. Right? It's Palt. I'm just gonna, uh, uh, gods. Um, let's see. Because you really don't want to change gods from what I remember. She's new in Alona Plus. I knew it. Uh, okay. Yakatect of Wealth. Worshippers no longer get, wait. Yeah, wor worshippers of Kumaromi no longer get seeds from rotten corpses. Yeah, that sucks. That, that is, used to be the best. Um... Mm. So, I guess I probably want It's Palt of the Element. Oh, who's a cool looking dude. Interesting. They change how seeds work. Yeah. Lolwi is the second best god. Anything giving you speed is top tier. Yeah, obviously. I should probably just go for the magic god, though, right? Just because that's, you know, that's what I'm. That's what I'm doing. Um, what do they give me exactly? Changing gods is pretty easy. Just one month of bad luck. Oh, I didn't know that. Wealth god is the best god. 
Wealth God is interesting, and they didn't exist before, so I'm kind of tempted. Are they a cute girl? They are a girl. A cool big cis type. Direct. This is the description. Direct with an upbeat personality. Fun to go drinking with. Okay. Um. Her her pet the goose will provide platinum coins. What? That's fucking great. Converts food into platinum coins. Oh, I'm getting the money, God. Yeah, I'm getting the fucking money, God. Fucking free platinum coins and shit. Changing gods inflicts a debuff, but it does wear off. So you could go for the wealth goddess, get her statue, then convert. What does her statue do? What's a stabs? Well, that's not how you spell it. It's stabs as in, like, a staff, but plural. Yakitect ends up giving you more platinum coins, I think. Or after you get the goose. Yeah, let's get the goose, dude. Let's do it! Okay, okay, I'll look after you. Thanks. Thanks, green ring. Oh! I... I accidentally gave my green ring... I hope that ring wasn't important or, like, good. Uh, I accidentally, uh... I accidentally donated. I accidentally offered up my ring. Uh, let's offer up these corpses. Yeah. Yeah, that may have been bad. Uh, fucking machine, I think. That has to be a machine with that link. Gotta be a machine trying to fucking scam somebody. Gone. Bye. It's a ring that checks how much faith you have. Well, <laughs> there goes that. Cool, dude. Who needs it? Not me. Not me. I don't need it. Uh, alright. Let's leave. Oh, I'm thirsty and hungry. Thirsty? Thirsty? I'm thirsty? What the fuck do you mean, thirsty? I didn't know you could be thirsty. Uh, I guess quaff, dude. I guess drink some crim ale. Now I'm drunk. Thirsty. Uh, let's see if- oh, can I donate- can I make this shrine, uh, my god? Oh no, it's just a- it's a ambiguous shrine. Um, can I find a bed that's not garbage in town, maybe? A giant bed. That's pretty decent. Okay. Will someone get mad at me? Thirsty is new to new additions. I don't know why it was necessary, though. And it seems- Pick up the magic circle that's left on the shrine. That also checks your faith level and the maximum. Oh. Just put it in my house. In a dream, you meditate and feel inner peace. Too bad it was only a dream, loser. In your dream, you meditate and feel inner peace. Wizard's dream. In your dream, you meet a wizard with a red mustache. Who are you? Hmm, I guess I picked the wrong man's dream. My apology for disturbing your sleep. To make up for this, he draws a circle in the air and vanishes. You feel the effects of a faint headache. I gained a spell. Oracle. Yo. Yo. Reveal artifacts. Yo, I have a, like, zero chance of it actually working, but... Uh, yeah, okay, I'll pick up the magic circle. Brings, I gotta bring some shit back to my house anyway. Fuck, it's a longer walk to get here than I realized. Uh... The Nine God Sign. Can I, also, I can pick up the shrine? It's not your property. Well, none of this was, but okay. I mean, I, I'm thirsty again. Uh, do I need to, like, carry around fucking water and shit now? In addition to food? That sucks! Did I just kill an innocent man because I auto-attacked him? Awesome. Yes, wild sheep trading card! Yo, my fucking Alona Yu-Gi-Oh deck is gonna be so good. Uh, eat this shit. I'm still- I'm still thirsty. Could I quaff this water? I guess I'll drink more Krim Ale. I have no water, so I must drink. You learned the spell Oracle, the worst spell. Oh. There's an item that makes it so you never have to drink, but you're vulnerable to electric. Hmm. Uh, my children won't eat fish! I'm gonna make- I'm gonna give them fish. <laughs> Uh, oh, a bunch of fucking parties. 
Go to Yoen and you'll get $4,000. Go to Vernus for $3,000. Uh, yeah, let's go to Vernus so we can go home. That's where our home is. We already have $20,000. We are making money pretty fucking fast in this game. Um, we need to do some more dungeon crawling, definitely. We're just kind of fucking around. But, uh, still, this is good. We're making some progress here. Uh, yeah, in fact, we're gonna go into a... Yeah, nice. An emo. I don't know what that is. Or an imo. Uh, should I... Wait. Identify everything, right? And then, should I train? Should I learn new skills? Cooking. Let's learn it. I think you, you want to get all the skills right away since you can, like, randomly lose shit, right? Or, like, let, not lose shit. You can randomly gain skills, right? So you want to get all your skills early on. Lockpicking. Let's get it. I don't have enough. Never mind. That was all my points. Okay. Need to drink potions and eat food in Alona Plus or you die from starvation or lose stamina from thirst. Staying in water tiles can help with thirst. Interesting. I wish it was this easy to make money IRL. What does the Oracle Scroll do? It tells you about art, uh, uh, artifacts, which there are none of at the moment. They don't exist. So, yeah. Really fucking useful. You want to unlock every skill that's not guild locked anyway. Gotcha. Uh, Alright, let's decorate my home a little bit. Uh, a metal neck guard. Um, let's fucking get a big stack of cards. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Stack of figurines. Fuck yeah, dude. Look at that. Oh, my collection. I'm gonna set up a towel over here. I really need a bed for my home. Bundle of weapons. Uh, wa a book called Water. A book called Water? Where I come from, water is life. Water holes are protected to the death down to the last woman and child. I see to this I come to this country and what do I see? Water, nay, life being wasted. You people who live in such lushes waste so much it's sinful. Is this, okay. Water should be blessed, given to all your gods as tribute. Do you people even know the things you do with dirty water? You can do. I suspect not. Nor will you if you simply toss it away like dung from a diseased camel. Wait, but how do you what do you do with dirty water? I have dirty water. Why couldn't you have read why couldn't you have written a more useful book? All right, uh, let's let's do some reading. Let's drop that fucking worthless water book, and then read uh, Darkness Arrow, new spell, nice. Um, detect objects. Oh! Several creatures are summoned. Those look like dangerous creatures. Um, that is the hand of the murderer. It looks uh, quite strong. Uh, that is a puppet. It looks quite strong. That is the effect butterfly. You can absolutely beat him with your eyes closed and arms crossed. Well, that's encouraging at least. And the fire ent, who looks quite strong. Um, wait. Okay, cool. No, wait. I killed the puppet! Yo, we're doing it! Oh, fuck. Give me... Oh, fuck. I pressed the wrong button. We're back on Game Boy mode. Oh, that looks so good. Little girl, help. Little girl, help. Townspeople, help. Nice! Oh, wait. The ant ran away. Wait, we did it. Oh. Well. Nice! I learned Feather. Okay. Um. Wow, I'm surprised. I've never had that actually go well. Uh, let's pick a dungeon, I guess. What do we got around us? Safe nest. Yeah, let's clear this shit up. Yo, statues. A basket. A magical map. Yeah. Um, I don't even like magical maps, because doesn't it make it so you can't tell where you've been? Wait, what the fuck does that even tell me? What? Oh. It's just a tunnel? Oh. Well, I really didn't need a fucking map then, did I? If it's one straight path that you literally can't go any other direction, really a good time for me to use my magical map, wasn't it? 
I guess that's the design of, of uh, what do you call these? Ness. I don't remember that. Is a wa is wasp good eating? Can I? <laughs> I killed a wasp. Can I eat its corpse? Is wasp good eating? Uh, Alona plus wasp. Wasp. If I eat it, it, it don't say. It don't say. It might poison you, but it should be fine. Eat it. Ugh, raw meat. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Now I know. Or piece, boring scroll, I'm overweight. What weighed so much? Oh, or piece is 12 pounds. Holy shit. And also something else is really a breastplate. I don't need that. Is that a little girl? What is what is that? What am I what am I looking at here? The Wizard of Elia. Are they hostile? Unperturbed, you would probably win. Are they hostile? But, but, uh, well, my little girl just fucking sliced her in half, so I guess she's hostile. What is this? Sewing kit. Uh, can I sew? Do I know how to sew? That girl I've been talking to, she knows how to sew. I'm just saying, dude. I have no tailoring. Or items. Good. Cool. Good. Uh, did my magic map not fucking work? Because some of this isn't discovered, even though I have a magic map. How does that fucking work? What's the point of using a magic map that doesn't tell you what the map is? Is that a tea set? Green tea. Ooh. Another sewing kit. Hostile, yes. I would hope she would. Everyone should know how to sew. I don't know how to sew. But women knowing how to sew, I mean, there was an old Roman thing that people would brag about, like in Roman times. Yo, did I just get a squirrel figurine and playing card? Scissors? 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 Scissors. That was an, it was an old, like, Roman thing to, to uh, brag about, like, I only wear clothes that my wife wears. Or wears. That didn't come out right. <laughs> I only wear clothes that my wife made for me. Scissors. Oh, oops. Uh, I'm gonna get that identified. That looks like a fucking scythe. Like a double scythe. No! You lost your step and rolled down! You scream! I fell down the stairs. Oh, spider. Wait, there's another scissors. What? Is, I've never seen this fucking item before. Oh, look at that cool bow. A skull bow. Oh, I'm at three health. Oh, fuck. What the fuck killed me? Poison. 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 Ah. A 24 centimeter bomb fish, a bronze coin, five skill tickets, and 293 gold coins. Now, you see, uh, I'm realizing something about Alona. Your backpack is squashing you. You were squashed by scissors. I... Oh. Oh. Oops. Don't run with scissors. <laughs> Good one, dude. Uh, I'm realizing something about Alona. Which is, this game is pretty fun. But it's also, like, super grindy. And I'm realizing, like, the further we get into this game... The more fucking it's just going to be the same shit descending into dungeons for forever. And eventually it's going to get less and less interesting to watch. For now it's like a nice novelty, you know? But like, how long is that? How long is that going to last? Like, there's cool shit you can do in Alona, like gene editing, right? But like, you can't do that right away. It's going to take a while before you get to shit like that. It's going to take a long fucking time. Could do mission for Sheena. What, because of her? Is this the mission for Sheena? Moongate. Ah, oh, man. I hate that the internet connection doesn't exist anymore. I remember going through Moongates to go to other people's worlds where you could find, like, their cool houses that they've designed that are full of monsters that will kill you and steal all your shit. It was so fun! Now, nothing. Now, fucking nothing. Bunk bed. Uh, I guess these are boring. Could get girl drunk. Yeah. 
In my case, I was grinding, fishing, magic capacity, and mining in Alona. Mission's top right of map. Yeah. Tobacco pipe. You feel concentration. You is dependent on 10% tobacco. You feel studious. Did I just become addicted to cigarettes? Or to, to smoking pipes, rather? I'm addicted to nicotine now. That's not what I, that's not what I was intending. In the dream, you had a different appearance. You were watching your life. In a dream, you convinced, you convinced that it is reality. You were reading the text on the computer screen. You were unaware that you were being seen by another you. This is reality. This is dream. Who are you? This is reality. You become insane. You become, you become insane. Well, what does that do? Well, what the fuck does that do? How do what? What? What does what does that do? Uh what what does that do? Oh, I've got that. You see that? Over me? You see the... Oh, oops. You see that symbol over my head? I guess that's me being insane. I'm confused and in fear. No, that's what that is. Oh, what'd she do? She got pregnant again. You stupid bitch. How do you keep doing this? Here's some more dye. Am I still insane? Well, I don't know what it means, to be honest with you. I'll eat this emo. Mmm. Mm, mm. Yeah, I think, honestly, I'm realizing that a lot of my like of Alona is uh, nostalgia. And I remember now why I played so much Alona. It's because you can just, like, fucking zone out and listen to, like, music or podcasts or something while you're playing. Whereas when you're playing actively, it's like, to be honest with you, I'd rather play, like, any other roguelike if I'm, like, really sitting down and playing the game. Uh, streaming it, especially. Because it's like... Alona's are just so grindy. Like, it's just such a feeling of, like, I'm... It doesn't feel like you have a lot of options, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of lot of important options. There's a lot of options, but it doesn't really matter. Do you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, compared to, like, I don't know, Ivan or Stone Soup or what if she gave birth? Haha, <laughs> unless... I'm thinking I'm going to switch to a different game is what I'm saying. <laughs>